lost all memory of the attack. It's been a back and forth trial and so much as the fight in the front strip on in what this hearing is true about the Y'all, what's up guys? Welcome back. Hood Food Review episode 29. I'm so thankful for all of you guys being here for 29 weeks. Like, actually, it's like 31 episodes, but 29 weeks. Look, I, I'm just thankful for each and every one of you. Uh, we're at like 1,070 subscribers right now. Like, we're rolling. We're moving on up a little bit, and I'm just thankful. But today, we're going to go eat some soul food. Uh, this place is called ERDs. I've never heard of this place before in my life. It's in Charlotte, North Carolina. You know, we're in the South, so we have a ton of... And I mean a ton of soul food restaurants, but not all of them can be good. Something has to be bad. This place looks to be pretty good. So we're gonna give this place a try. So we're gonna hop in, the, well, we're in the car. We're not gonna hop in the car. We're gonna drive to ERDs. And if this is your first time at the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. I really appreciate you being here. Hopefully I don't talk you or bore you to death because I've been known to talk like a lot. Um, also, Check out my boy Jamal and, and Naya One. Um, it's a guy from South Carolina. He gave me a shout out a couple weeks back on a video. Him and his girl, they do like random things. He tried to do a food review, uh, but they do like a personal vlog. Like they just show things of their life. It's pretty cool. So you definitely should check them out. I'll put a link below in my. All right, so we're pulling in. This is our spot. ERDs, Emma Ruth's Daughters. All right, so that's what ERD stands for. It's Emma Ruth's Daughters. Uh, started in 1992, California style soul food. All right, guys. So we're gonna walk in here, see what we got. Um, yeah, I mean it's a it's a pretty small place. Uh, it's right here in a little strip mall. So let's just walk in and see what we can get. They're rating. Their rating is a 99. That is the highest or second highest rating we've seen. I think we've seen a 99.5. So that 99 is definitely clutch. Um, it's a pretty good feel here. They got a movie plan. I mean, they've got their whole family on the wall. All right, so this is their menu. They change it daily. Um, so, I mean, you pretty much get what you get, but we are definitely trying the mac and cheese. You guys know I always try mac and cheese everywhere I go. Um, and we're gonna eat some fish today. Hmm. Almost forgot this side of the menu. All right, guys, so I figured out what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get fried chicken, because we gotta try to fry, fry chicken at a soul food place. I got fried fish, I got cabbage, and I got macaroni and cheese in a cup of water. So, it smells good in here. I wish you could smell the smell with me. But this is a, that's a combination place. That's $15, but that's a lot of food. Like I'm getting two pieces of chicken, two pieces of fish, macaroni and cheese, and some cabbage. They told me the cabbage is gonna be really good. It was $16.28 after tax. But one thing I was about to do is sit down, but I managed to see this business card. Look at this. Let me just pick this thing up. See if I can see it. Look at that business card. That is official. I need to find out who made these business cards because I want some. That is awesome. It's got their social media handles on there and everything, their phone number. That is the dopest, like, literally the dopest business card I've ever seen in my life. Menu. Um, the business hours are going to be Sunday 11.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday 11.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Thursday. Uh, so every day it's 11.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. except for Sunday. So I don't know why I was about to just try to go through there and give you every single day. But I took a quick glance at it. And yeah, so every day they open at 11.30. They're not open on Wednesdays or Tuesdays. <laughs> so... Yeah, by the way, when you pay, uh, if you bring a card, anything under $25, I think there's like a $3 charge, but if you pay cash, you get the normal price. So just a reminder, my food just came out. I got whiting, I got fried chicken, I got cabbage, and I got macaroni and cheese. And also I got a piece of cornbread, but I want you to see this food because it looks so amazing. Misty, what do you 
remember about that night of April 1989? Um, I don't remember much, but I... I got whining because, you know, when I went to the place in Bedville, Chang's, Chang's Fish Market, I got whining and that was literally the best fish I had. So, I'm gonna try their whiting here. So my fiance and I were riding on her bike and this entire group of kids just started heckling us. And we were completely terrified. So on first bite, it's got like good flavor to it. Um, the fish is actually cooked on the inside. It's like really, really flavorful. The batter is really good. No. That's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Like I legit love these end pieces. These end pieces are like nuggets of love. I typically do not eat whiting. Uh, this is only the second time I've ever had it. I usually go and do my flounder tilapia. I know tilapia is not the best for you, but that's what I normally do. They gave me three pieces. They gave me three pieces of whiter. I definitely probably should have stuck to two, but I'll take I'll take an extra piece. I honestly cannot stop eating this fish. I need to try the chicken. I need to try the mac and cheese. And I need to try the cabbage, but I legit keep eating this fish. I, I keep going back and forth. Like, I want you guys to taste this with me. Like, I need you guys to like definitely come here and try this because it is pretty good. These end pieces though, so good. The more I sit here, I literally, uh, this is the last piece of fish that I have. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I've devoured this fish, but I don't even feel like I'm in a restaurant. I feel like I'm sitting in my mama's house, just chilling. They got the TV playing, you got people walking in, you got delicious food. I'm so sad, that is my last piece of fish. I got the chicken to look forward to though, and the macaroni and cheese, and the cabbage. I've never ate yellow cabbage before in my life. I'm used to it being like clear cabbage, but we're gonna try something new. The macaroni and cheese looks like it is banging. Like it smells good, but just off that fish, like I'm, I'm gonna eat the fish crumbs. Got some grease on this chicken. I mean, it's, it's greasy, but it's soul food. Like it's. Mr. Lafrey, claim to Time out. Y'all. This chicken. I hope my mama don't watch this. Uh, this chicken right here, I don't, my mama knows I don't like chicken legs. This chicken is amazing. This place is gold. The macaroni don't look like it's gonna let me down. The cabbage is my question mark right now. Uh, comment below. Do you think the cabbage is gonna be like amazing or what? Like I'm legit so comfortable with my legs crossed. We got one more piece of chicken left. Uh, we got this macaroni and cheese to try and we've got the cabbage. We're gonna try which one? Fair. Fair? Is that word mean anyway? I don't know, something to do with justice, I think. It's no longer about justice, counselor. It's about politics. And politics is about survival. And there's nothing fair about survival. That's macaroni and cheese. So that's like your mama's homemade macaroni and cheese. The cheese is actually a sharper cheese, so it's pretty good. It's like a cheddar cheese. Um, yeah, uh, the noodles taste good. It's not 
no burnt in there, but it's like super creamy. I'm gonna try to use my right hand, even though I'm left handed. It has to be all three of you. If we all can guilty now, you will do time. I'm in my deck now. See this thing the end and it doesn't go away. This macaroni and cheese, it tastes different, but it's good. Um, if I had a like, Rank it amongst the macaroni and cheese, it'd be like a top, top three. But it's definitely good. Alright, so if you need any indication of how good this food has been. I ain't touched my water yet. Typically when I eat and the food's pretty good, I don't touch any of my drink until I'm done. Uh, yeah, it's time for the cabbage. It's not the cabbage that I'm used to. Um, it's like a vinegar based cabbage. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. It's like a vinegar based cabbage. It's not bad though. Um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty decent. The yellow, the color of the yellow threw me off, but it's actually very flavorful. They've got like peppers in there, got everything in there that you need. Yeah, this cabbage is pretty good, y'all. I guess we just have to try this cornbread. Uh, oh. That cornbread broke apart so soft. Y'all, it's sweet cornbread. Hold up. It is sweet cornbread. That cornbread is almost like cake. Like it is so good. And that movie is really loud. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Hopefully you can. But that cornbread is really, really, it doesn't dry your mouth out. Like, I don't, I don't know. Have me a little sloppy moment. But all of this food has been pretty good. You know, I'm gonna finish this food and then I'm gonna go outside and rate this place because here, just, just have another look. I mean, I technically don't have much left. I ate three pieces of fish. I'm finishing this chicken. I'm finishing this cabbage. I'm finishing this macaroni and cheese. And I'm definitely finishing that cornbread. We're gonna finish this up outside because we've gotta rate this place. All right guys, wrapping it up here at Emma Ruth's Daughters, ERDs. I'm pretty hyped on this place. Like. I am pretty disappointed this is my first time ever hearing about this place, but it is, it's pretty banging. Like, I talked to the owner, she moved here from California, she said she had a life change, she packed up, moved out here, brought her whole entire family. So this is literally a family ran business. Definitely check these people out. The food is amazing. Come hungry, you get a lot of food for your money. We're going to go ahead and rate this place. You know how we do. Out of a scale of 10. They got a nine, a solid nine. I, I've given two nines out here recently, but they definitely got a nine. The only reason, well, and I can't dock them for this, but when you come, it'll take a little bit for your food because all the food is fresh. So it takes some time to cook it. Uh, the macaroni and cheese, I'm pretty sure they have it like in a pot, the cabbage. But as far as your chicken and fish, they cook it as you or them, come in to order. It. So yeah, they got a nine. Be sure to check them out. Their link is in the description below. It's gonna have their address because I don't know it right here. That's gonna be loud. Um, but yeah, so definitely check this out. Hey, next week we got a surprise. We will not be in North Carolina. So stay tuned.